what is up guys, I'm the original comic and right now we're just going to be talking about something which I'm actually a bit pissed off at, I'm a bit terse because someone is not getting the credit they deserve. Now for some reason no one is talking about Star Wars theories, fan film, fan episode, you know what I mean, it's going to be a series, thankfully it was so good. No one is talking about it and by no one I mean larger Star Wars channels, geek type channels. Why is this thing getting no, no love? from the people who make their living and make their life off of Star Wars and the community itself. I don't understand why these big channels have not mentioned his effort and his work properly. My confusion lies with you, the biggest Star Wars promoters on the planet essentially. You give Star Wars free promotion 24-7. That's what you do. You love it, you embrace it, it's incredible. I don't get why you yourself wouldn't, wouldn't credit and, and acknowledge and praise the efforts of the community which you claim to be a part of. It just doesn't make sense. I, it's a bit sleazy to be honest. And I don't just want this to be negative because that film that he made is my second favorite Star Wars fan film after that Darth Maul Apprentice one. That one was bloody stunning, but it, it does blow me away how I think when that one came out, everyone was hyped about that. And everyone was like, this is so good. This is so cool. This one, the, the community as a whole is like that, but the people at the top of the community essentially just aren't talking about this at all. And I think that's wrong. Actually, there was another one with, uh, with Anna Arcana. I don't know the, uh, the name of it, but it was actually surprisingly good. She's normally pretty trash, I'm not gonna lie. But that specifically was pretty well done and well put together. I can't remember the name of it, but it was solid and, and it did impress me. Now. Again, I don't want this just be negative, so I'm just going to talk about some of the comments I got on the last video here. Um, don't normally do this. You know what? I have the time. Hashtag content. I guess I'm going to be replying to comments uh, live. It could go one or two ways, good or bad. I I don't know. But we're going to find out. All right, so Thorden. I mean, that's a that's a great name. Jeez, I guess maybe his name's Jordan and he put the Thor in. I mean, Thor is his icon, so I like you already, mate. Uh, honestly, Palpatine looked like he did before George Cassidy and for the role, the theatrical release of Empire Strikes Back shows Palpatine as a frog. I mean, it's true. He, he does look like a frog. What am I going to say? I was just saying he looked like a frog. That was all. Still is young. Uh, well, I mean, if you paid attention. Oh, he's at me. It said eight months. That's why the Clone Wars era technology is still being used. See, I thought, I obviously mis misread it. I'm, 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 I'm stupid in a way. Um, but I, I assumed it was eight years after. I read it and I just thought eight years, even though it clearly said eight months. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I sort of mucked up there. But I, I acknowledge it wasn't, uh, it was a mistake on my part, that part. The frog thing I'm still, still going to stand by because it is true. Okay, it was, someone replied to this. Noetic squint. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna assume that's how you say it, but I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, this guy watching this doesn't seem to pay much attention, okay? Uh, I was annoyed as- I was annoyed as <coughs> watching him pick apart stuff without watching it in full and take- and talking over the dialogue in the episode. Wow. Um, well, I have a reply to that in itself. With reaction videos, it doesn't always go the way you want. Um, Mainly because some people like you not talking in the reaction and some people like you talking in it. Because um, some people say, well, you're not really critiquing it at all if you don't say anything. And some people say, I don't want to hear you talking. I want to see you reacting to it. I do both um, at different parts in a trailer, in a, in a video. Um, there'll be parts where I'm just watching it and just in awe by it. And there's other points where I'm surprised and I might say why I'm surprised during the reaction. So everyone has a different way of reacting to things. You can never win with everybody because someone will be pissed regardless of the way you do it. That's just the way I do it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, I appreciate you saying that. I mean, it's what you think. Um, that's fine, but that's just the way I do it. Thornton comes back again. Uh, noetic squint. Uh, that stuff kills me too, but hey, not everyone can have, can, can be above par in the IQ department. Well, Thornton, I liked you. I did. I did. I liked you a lot. Just from your icon alone. Yeah. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover, you dickhead. Now you just said there. You just said there. We can't all be above par in the IQ department. Now I'm not gonna be like, ha ha ha, I'm a, I'm a smart a smart cookie. But like, uh, my IQ is solidly like 140. I don't, I, 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 I'm not saying that's good. It's clearly not the best. It's not the worst. I mean, it was tested like 10 years ago, so maybe it's gone down. Uh, I'll give you some sway there. 
but uh, yeah, and you do know IQ is basically just your non-verbal and ver verbal reasoning, how, how well you assess situations basically, um, and how quickly you learn. So I don't know if uh, you've really got the right meaning of IQ there uh, properly, but you know, I'll, I'll let you have it. Good job, Thorden, you can fuck off. I liked you. Not anymore. Um, Wolf. I can agree with all three comments here. Well, you're a fucking prick. Um, I'm, j I'm joking. Honestly, uh, the best thing anyone, anyone can do when reviewing is to watch fully, rewind back, and take it step by step, then watch it again. I always do watch things again if I like it. So I've already watched it three times now. Um, and obviously I edited it, so uh, I've probably watched it a lot more than three times overall now. But just in terms of how I edit and how I put together videos, I don't do the type of review that like an H3H3 H3 does um, just because it is probably double the time, if not triple the time, editing a video. And right now I'm doing a video every day. It is something I want to do. And maybe when I stop doing a video every day, I will probably look into doing my reactions like that from now on. But as of right now, I'm going to stick to the way I do it. Um, I see your point. I like watching reactions like that as well as um, reactions where it's just 100% straight because that way you get the feel of what they're feeling through the trailer Whereas I feel if you pause it you sort of take away the momentum a bit, but it's, it's it, apples and oranges We're all fruit, but um <laughs> Yeah, it just depends on what you like. I think I might look into doing that in the future um, But thanks. Thanks for the for the comment and then we have uh, someone called the light side uh, Yes, I was thinking of Darth Maul Apprentice. Yeah, see th this is what I mean. It was a great fan film um, that and this are probably the top two fan films I've seen. Great reactions. I had similar thoughts in my own reaction video. All right. Uh, well, I guess I'll, uh, have a look at your reaction video later. Um, Edgar G, the light side, please check out. Oh, oh, this is actually the one. This is the one with Anna Arcana. Right. Okay. I've seen that one. That, as I said, that one's actually really good as well. I just didn't know the name of it. Um, but thanks. Thanks for writing that down. And then we have, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Makita gut. Is there some type of innuendo there? I don't know. Uh, I recommend Bucketheads. It just came out and it's impressive. <laughs> Most impressive. Impressive. Most impressive. I like that. I like that. Uh, I'll have a look at that as well uh, later on. Anyway, check this out as well. Word of mouth helps fan productions. It's true. It's true. That's why I feel so so strongly about this one in particular, because I don't think I think the fans themselves are getting behind it, but the people and the mouthpieces of the fandom aren't. And I don't understand why. I don't really like that. This from Edgar G again. I want to be a filmmaker. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I'm working on it. I have a Canon 7D. That's do you mean 70D? I think it's 70D, maybe it's 70. Uh, concentrating on photographic uh, stills first though, but I've seen many videos to be inspired. That's what that's what that's what's great about YouTube. You can see something and just really take something different from it that maybe no one else has seen, and and it can really change the way you look at things or story that you want to tell. So so I appreciate where it's coming from. Oh, we got the lad, the lad Atomic Squid. He's been here for a while. I like you. Uh, looking forward to what this guy has in store. Maybe Lucasfilm should ask him to save their butts. Yeah, I don't know about that. You know, I said the thing, I think that there's a lot of creativity within the fandom and sometimes it's not appreciated enough by the people in charge. Now, obviously you can't just have fans running the show 100% of the time because nothing, I don't think anyone, anything would get done in that case because they have a lot of passion, but maybe they don't have the right business sense. Lucasfilm, maybe you should look into hiring a couple of these channels to help you understand what the fandom actually thinks of your product. Um, because I'm pretty sure, as a general consensus, most people did prefer this to The Last Jedi, um, which is not a good thing for you. Uh, it's just not. Uh, then we got Thorden. Thorden, coming back at it again, yeah? All right. All right, dickhead. Um, uh, no one should save, save their butts. Let them burn and be replaced as they should be. Oh, wow. I like you again, actually. I like you a lot. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the alternative mindset, isn't it? Either you should use these people to help you better your product, or as Thorden, Thorden saying, um, just just let them crash and burn. Basically, they've, they've dug their own grave. All they need to do is jump into it now. And if episode nine is bad, then they will literally just jump into their own grave. And that is um, the sad reality of it, you know? But uh, hey, hopefully, hopefully nine will be better than eight. I'm going to give it one chance. If not, Star Wars, the new sequel trilogy will be dead to me. This, the, 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 the prequels are good, in my opinion, for me, some of them. The original trilogy are great. And uh, the sequels are utter garbage overall um, right now. But you never know. We could be in for a shocker. Then we have Deborah Lee Page. Thank you. I very much enjoyed watching this with you. This is my eighth or ninth viewing. 
Wait, do you mean 8th or 9th viewing watching my reaction or 8th or 9th viewing watching the actual video? Because either way, good on you. Um, that's that's really something. As, as I said, I've probably watched it three or four times full way through. Um, so so I know what you mean. It really does grip you at parts in, in, in the film. I rotate around to different users and rewatch Shards of the Past with their reaction videos. It makes me feel like I'm watching it with someone. Yeah, that's the thing with reaction videos. You really... Maybe you can connect with that individual who you might not connect with someone else because of the way they react, what they say. You might feel certain things that that they agree with you on. And it feels like you're experiencing it with them, which is something which I think is great about reaction videos. I think some people do reaction videos very badly. Um, like, they'll make a, a three-minute reaction and two minutes and 30 seconds of it is a trailer and then it's like well it's a three minute video and two minutes and 30 seconds is the trailer it's just it makes it feel a bit cheap i know with my reactions in general if it's for trailers i'll try and make my commentary at least double overall the length of of the trailer so so if it's a two minute trailer i'll make the video at least five minutes long if not more um that's just what i do as an individual everyone's different um but yeah I, I do think that reactions can go in multiple ways and some people appreciate them and some people don't as much it's just what it is um so it makes me feel like i'm watching it with someone because my husband and friends just don't seem to get why i'm so angry with the crap disney has put out with emo ren and mary sue ray uh not quite sure how anyways thank you for watching it with me Man, that's such a nice comment. You know, that's a nice way to end it. That's the last one. Uh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Sometimes people don't understand why you don't like the new the new trilogy and why you don't like the characters because they're just like, oh, but, you know, it's a, it's, it's a broken male character and then the female character is so strong. Why are you not going to like the film? I don't care if, if the female character is strong, if the female character is shit. If it's a bad character, it's a bad character. This is something I've read about... Um, uh, Haley Seinfeld in Bumblebee. I haven't seen Bumblebee yet, but I'm going to see it, definitely. Um, people are raving about her in that film and the film overall because apparently she's actually got a good character. No one gives a shit she's a woman because it's actually good. It's a good film, it's good storytelling, and it's a good character. Ray is not a good character, it's not good storytelling, and no one cares because it's shit. There's a difference. It's not because, you know, she's a woman. Because Haley Seinfeld's a woman and people are liking and receiving Bumblebee well. So, uh, I know what you mean, Ray is such a high-level Mary Sue, but, uh, yeah, we can't really do anything about that, unfortunately. But, anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then Emo Ren himself, as, uh, as Deborah Lee Page put it, so lovely, will come after you. He will. You don't want that, you really don't. He has an anger man management problem, so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been the original comic. You've been great, and I'll see you next time. Skadoosh.